Hey y'all, we back at it again with theories on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube that are gonna make us question everything. I would go through all my titles, but you guys know what it is. Y'all know what y'all clicked on. I do wanna say before we get into the video, I know y'all did! Discipline over desire, the merch is out. This is not the only merch that I have. I have other stuff out as well. Y'all know, go ahead and check it out. The link is in the description down below. Copy you some stuff that's gonna make you change your life. Discipline over desire. Discipline will take you further than the desire has ever taken you in your life. Yeah. Y'all y'all know. Anywho, let's go ahead and get into today's video. Thank you, Julio, for the video. You think Look at her eyes, that he's guilty? No. So you don't think he did it? I don't think he did Slip. it. And Ooh. you said in all the time that you've known him that you never saw any erratic behavior. You have no evidence of any erratic behavior. You have nothing that in the would open with indicate like, that in the open? <laughs> he would be capable of doing something like this, would have any in motivation to do something like this. Exactly. You do know. That's crazy. Her stuff is like, not like this, but it's like this. Okay. I'm just, I'm just showing y'all because I ain't that. The symbolism just don't stop, do it. It don't stop. Uzi recently just performed at the concert Rolling Loud like a few days ago. And look at his contacts. Don't y'all see the reptilian eye? I've made past videos on multiple celebrities showing reptilian symbolism. And like I said, they not showing y'all this for no reason. They're telling y'all without telling y'all. Like, it really don't get no more blatant. How you hide the truth, you put it in plain sight. Thank you, Rand, for the video. Oh, this is a home video? What is that? Rand, what state are you in? To where that's just in the sky. Rand, this another home video of yours? What is going on? Thank you, DeAndre, for the video. To the people of the book. My people, I love you. The message is, the work is finished. Walk in it. Oh, my message to you is consent to be loved, consent to his righteousness, consent to be awakened, consent to be restored and unified. It's, it's there for us. It's for us. My people, I love you. We got big plans, the plans ahead of us. They are wonderful. They're, they're, they're supernatural. And I can't wait, man. And. Father God is fighting this battle for us. We're being driven by him, by his justice, by his vengeance and his recompense. Yes, it's real. Believe that. It's real. The fishers and the hunters have been released. Ooh. And as one of those fishers, allow me to announce in our native, in our primary language, Baruch Abba, Beshem, Yahweh, bless be you who comes in the name of the Lord. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Feezy, for the next couple videos that I'm about to show. This one's for those who think that it's just art when these entertainers in Hollywood right. show their allegiance to Satan through their signs, symbols, music videos, and movies. Very popular rapper Young Thug has been in court fighting a Rico case, and it's just come out that there's footage of one of the members of his YSL crew sacrificing goats. Young Thug's lawyers want goat sacrifice excluded from evidence. Attorneys representing the Grammy Award winning rapper Young Thug are asking a judge to exclude evidence of a goat sacrifice captured on police cameras during the arrest Ow. of one of the star's co-defendants. How many of you have seen the music video with the rapper Young Thug and Lil Uzi Vert where they have not only Masonic symbolism right. but women with pentagrams painted on their face and devil horns? How many of you have heard of the rap group 36 Mafia won an Oscar for their song on the movie Hustle and Flow? There's a member in the group called Crunchy Black who gave Crunchy an interview Black. and spoke on his experience meeting Satan. It wasn't when I showed up. I would say an illusion of he was a friend. He did that for real. Mm -hmm. Ain't no way you gonna be able to say Triple Six Mafia 
or none of that without actually meeting the man. Oh, you know, wow. Everybody got their own choice, but stop searching for something that you really don't want to be fucking with. I ain't drunk, I ain't high, I ain't none of that. Paul and them know what I'm talking about. Isn't it interesting that he said Satan will come as your friend mm -hmm. when the Bible says even Satan masquerades as an angel of light? Hey guys, so I no longer make any money off my content due to these platforms censoring me. So if you appreciate I know the my feeling. content and support <laughs> Once you are in, they prefer you not to hang around nobody you know. Why? Because people that's not in the industry can see BS. They can see demonic things happen well they don't want you around folks like that because they can influence you to get out or not participate so usually they pick your girlfriends they pick your boyfriends why see you never can understand you got all that kind of money and you can date about anybody I mean, half the time i go to the mall make them celebrity women look sad but why come they don't want those celebrities messing with anybody in the mall because those women in the mall are regular people some of them people believe in the Lord and they read their Bible on a regular. So that means they got light in them. They can't have that. So when you get ready That's to date somebody, they prefer you to date someone in the industry because they wicked. It makes sense. You see, they got to keep you wicked. So it's no wonder that Kanye West loves uh, Kim Kardashian because she's a wicked one. She'd have been passed around like a baton. <laughs> like a baton! Oh my! What I would never understand, I never understood why celebrities went for the passed around women, I should say. I'm like, no, nah, you've seen that this girl been with this man, this man, this man, this man, and you chose to get with the same girl that got passed around? Basically, your, your click? It, it just, it never clicked for me and made sense into this video right here basically in other words if the girl has been passed around to all these celebrities like diddy rick ross jay-z chris brown i can name more but you guys get the point i'm just random i'm just throwing out random names she gotta get with you too because you're no longer in control of your life these people are in control of your life it is, it's people to this day that are gonna sit here and, go, and are going to defend the hip-hop industry the music industry the entertainment industry they're not controlled. They're not this. They're not that. But you just heard this man just clearly say. And now, now again, now it makes sense. Because I always wonder, why would this person get with this person if they've been around your entire friend group? It's all about control. Did you know What's My Name by Rihanna is making you worship a false god and you had no idea? And Mark it down. What's My Name? Inanna is a biblical fallen angel associated with the eight-pointed star as well as the colors red and blue. They exchange knowledge of sex, war, and magic for exclusive worship. And this demon worship has been brought into Hollywood. This music video featured the eight-pointed star as Rihanna's no! red and blue color scheme throughout the entire music video, down to the milk cartons, and even Drake's clothing. And funny enough, we always saw a Nana near owls, kind of like Drake's OVO logo. And let's not forget that a Nana was the god of sex and fertility. Which is the entire topic of the song. About that! Did you know that one person singing a prayer is stronger than 1,000 people reciting it? Now think, if you sing corrupt music like this, more than you sing psalms and hymns, who are you worshipping more? What do you think? My mind is blown. What in the world? The Illuminati are always on the lookout for the next big thing. This is Lucy Luce. She is the next big thing in the music industry. With her slack lyrics and promiscuous attitude. Like Ice Spice. She's the perfect role model for the Illuminati. They can use her to promote their negative agenda. They are trying to sign her. So, which that one of you guys should I sign for? I mean, you both have come here to sign me, right? So I need to know what you can offer me. Well, I can't sign you to the Freemasons as they are male-only club, but I can sign you to Co-Freemasonry. What's Co-Freemasonry and what can they offer me? Co-Freemasonry is Freemasonry for both male and female. Like I say, Freemasonry itself is male only, but co-Freemasonry is both. They can offer you secret knowledge into the occult. Also, brother and sisterhood, we would also give you a hefty sign on fee, and you would be signing with an organization that has a global network. Okay, what about you, Owl? Why should I sign for you? What can you offer me? First off, girl, don't be crazy. Oh, Why would you want to sign for this old man? <laughs> he clearly has not got a clue. We are young. You need to sign with the OTO along with me. I can take you to the next Whoa. level. I can take you to places that he can't. Introduce you to the right people. 
Okay, yeah, it's true. Al, you are relevant to my music and to my generation. I think I'm gonna go with you. Yeah, I think so. I'm gonna sign with OTO. Oh, well, you this can't win scary. them all. I guess you're doing what you think is best. Who am I to, to force you to sign with me? I hope that you and the owl have a fruitful career together. Well, good choice. Now I'm going to need you to fly to Toronto for your initiation. How's about this weekend? We got an OTO festival going on. OTO. <laughs> but what Lucy doesn't realize is both the owl and Harry are comrades. They are working for the same head, just different branches. Mm. They met beforehand, of course, to give Lucy the illusion of independence. Really, she has none. Whoever she signs with, she will become a puppet for the Illuminati. Bro, that's deep. I, it was funny, but it's deep. We got a part two. This is Lucy Luce. She's about to sign a recording contract with the Illuminati. They want her because she promotes negative stereotypes. She can be used as a tool to keep the youth ignorant and without morals. Emphasis on the youth. But will she pass the initiation? Lucy, so how'd you like the concert? It was okay. All I want to do now is sleep. So Lucy, let's not mess around. You're here for your initiation. That room ugly. So take your clothes off and jump into bed. I'm sorry, what'd you say? Uh huh? Girl, I know you heard me the first time. It's initiation. So take a shower and get into the bed. Hold up. I don't know what you think this is. I'm not doing that, but I didn't think you were into women anyway. Oh, what made you think that? Uh, well, just the way you carry yourself. I see you think just because I talk like this. And dress in these clothes, I don't like women. Far from it. I wear these clothes because it's part of the agenda. What agenda? Whoa. Girl, you really are green. We are part of something so much bigger than music. We influence the young. Look, don't you remember how I used to talk? This isn't even my real voice. This is how I really talk. But the superiors tell me how to talk. They tell me how to act. What it helps the them heck? to push out agendas on the people because they look up to me. Uh, I don't understand. You're saying you have to be someone else? Do you really think that I wanted to make that house album? I don't even like house music. Anyway, enough talk. Take your clothes off and get into the bed. I already told you that's not happening. And if that's the way it is, then I don't want to sign. What? What makes you so special? This happens all the time. Lil' Kim and Biggie, Mariah Carey and Tommy Mottola, Rihanna and Jay-Z, R. Kelly and Aaliyah, Gwent Paltrow and Harvey Weinstein, Jada Pinkett Smith and August. It's wow. the rite of passage. Well, I'm not doing it, so I'll find my way with someone else. So she didn't sign. She's better off staying independent. At least then she can make her own rules like Ryan Leslie. But the problem is she will never become a Madonna, a Rihanna or Beyonce. To get to that level, she will have to sign to a major. She will have to sign to the Illuminati. Lucy Luce is in this for the wrong reason. So it's just a matter of time. They are targeting the children. The video said this is so much bigger than music. We are influencing the children. Protect your children. Don't have them watch everything. Don't have them play everything. Don't have them look at every, whatever, hear, smell, taste, touch, all the senses. Be aware of that parents because they are targeting the children. They're programming them early at an early age through these programs that they watch, programming, so that it can just be normal. It can be regular later on in life which is what they did to us it was stuff at first that was not like when i tell you the stuff that they show on tv and in movies and stuff that was never a thing that all of a sudden they threw a little throw a little rod out there right see who's gonna pick up on it then it was like oh my gosh desensitizing is the word if you guys are looking for that if you're looking for the word that i'm trying to break down because i was trying to break it down but desensitizing is what they're doing so they'll they'll put some that's like super wicked super bad out there and then after a while you kind of get used to it to where it becomes normal which is not supposed to be it's not supposed to be normal to look at wickedness and and all this stuff and be like oh yeah that's just it's regular desensitizing is a demon the illuminati are always on the lookout for the next superstar this is tyrone <laughs> hoops he is about to break the scoring record he's the next big thing in basketball now it's time for the illuminati to make their move, the basketball star. Sweet shot, my man, Tyrone. You got a mean right hand. Amazing since you're left-handed. Hey man, what's up? Look, can you throw the ball back to me? Sure thing. So Tyrone, it's a real shame you came along when you did. What does that mean? Right. Well, you should be going down as the greatest. 
But before you, there was Kobe, Shaq, Johnson, and of course, Jordan. It's a real shame. Fellow, you crazy. I'm going down with those guys. What makes you think that I ain't? No, no, don't take it the wrong way. I think you're the, the, the best thing ever. But I've just come back from Europe, and no one even knew who you were. Yeah, that's Europe. Who cares about them? They are all into soccer anyway, come to think of it. You got a point. Who are you? I've not seen you back here before. My uh, name's Harry, Harry Benjamin. I'm the man who wants to take you to the next level. Yeah, where have I heard that before? Yeah, <laughs> I guess you hear that every day. But I work for the Freemasons. Have you heard of them? Of course, Shaq's one. He told me they took him places that he never thought possible. You work for them? Really? Sell. Sure do. And we can do the same for you. Take you from mere player to a god. With your talent, I can make you the greatest player to ever have lived. Okay, so how will you do that? Right. There's a lodge on Main Street. It's a grand lodge. Do you know it? No, but ain't you guys got one on the lower street across town? Lower street, that's right. We have lodges in every town, in every city, all over the world, so that's how come I can push you all over the globe. Anyway, yeah, please come to uh, Lower Street Lodge uh, 7 p.m. tomorrow. And he's not lying. They have lodges in every town, every city, all over the world. For some, it's about joining for money, for others, power. But for Tyrone, he just wants to be remembered. He's joining for his own personal ego, but he doesn't realize the cost will be great. In episode two, he will see just what the Illuminati expected. Yes. Right, whoever making these videos, this person right here is like talented. Thank you, Retro, for the video. You go to McDonald's anywhere in the world, you will find French fries and you will find that they're always made from the same potato, the russet Burbank potato from America that's unusually long and difficult to grow, but russet that's what potato. they want. When you're McDonald's, you like those red boxes with a little bouquet of very long chip. And they further insist that they have no blemishes at all. And there's a very common defect of russet Burbank potatoes called net necrosis. And you've seen potatoes with little brown lines. Well, McDonald's won't buy them. And the only way to eliminate that is to eliminate an aphid. And the only way to do that is with a pesticide called Monitor that is so toxic that the farmers who grow these potatoes in Idaho won't venture outside into their fields for five days after they spray. And then when they harvest their potatoes, they, they have to put them in these atmosphere-controlled sheds the size of a football stadium because they're not edible for six weeks. They have to off-gas all the chemicals in them. <sighs> Did you hear what he said? They don't even like basically go near the potatoes for a couple days because of i guess all the the stuff that's placed into the potatoes that's not good because we're eating that it was crazy as mcdonald's fries are the most fire fries i've had in my entire life i don't think any other fries compares to their fries but i want to hear you guys' thoughts and opinions in the comments below who has the best fries in the fast food industry because i personally always thought mcdonald's but watching this, I'm just like, wow, I'm just not missing out on a thing. This is crazy. At this point, the best tip I can give you guys, make your own fries, make your own food, make your own desserts, make everything from scratch because at least you know what's going inside of it. Because all this stuff that we're buying, if you look at the ingredients, they're adding all this stuff like, like for example, they add in pork to, to like Jiffy cornbread. What does pork have to do with cornbread? So at the end of the day, make your own, learn to make it. Cause with, if this stuff is ever to be taken away or taken down, at least you have the ingredients on how to make it. That's what I'm learning. So I'm in the mode now where I'm trying to learn how to make everything from scratch because all this stuff that they're selling to us is literally us. We already knew that these little m were real. But from my understanding, anybody that exposes extraterrestrials magically vanish what makes this a bit confusing is that the u.s congress just admitted on live tv that aliens were real and that they recovered non-human bodies at ufo crashings 2023 has more ufo sightings than any other year and these also been hiding in spaceships inside of clouds nope they got this head in our face just go watch the movie nope Besides that, that lady on that plane was not bo There was a witness on a plane that accused the same of blanking like a reptile. There's really no telling what's living among us. Now my grandmother is a down-to-earth Christian lady. And I asked her, do she think aliens are real? And it was like she stared into my soul before she told me, yes, they are real, grandbaby. 
I seen one looking at me through my bathroom window. Nope. And the closest thing to her was a microwave. So she picked that up and threw it at his ass, but he was gone. But check this out, though. In Siberia, 1982, <laughs> several Russian scuba divers were on the underwater search. That's when they realized that they were being watched by five alien-like creatures. It looked like they had on super swimsuits with no oxygen tanks. They were also like nine feet tall with a bubble-like helmet on their head. It's invisible. So one of these scuba divers tried shooting a net on one of these aliens to capture it. But that's when he f up. He missed and they hit a the super way he tell his story just throwing me off. It was a real Dragon Ball sh The blast was strong enough to kill three and left the other four divers in critical condition. And there's a new massive ocean that was found 400 miles below the Earth's crust. The way he tells stories throw me off. Thank you, KMP King, for the video. If they fake an alien invasion, they get the New World Order, which they want. They thought lockdowns were bad. We found out that they pretty much lied to us about everything to push an agenda of more total control. We're closer than we've ever been to World War III, all of this other stuff. And now the only way for them to truly, in my mind, get what they want or supersede the timeline, speed up the timeline, is the fake and alien invasion. The moment they do that, everybody panics. The government has to step in as a one world government. All governments come together to fight an outer worldly threat. And then we're all in lockdown like you wouldn't believe because we got to be aware of the aliens. I mean, we're already scared of the human. Now we got to be scared of the alien. So that's, I think, the end game. And it's pretty easy to see that that's what they're gearing up for. That's why they're telling us there's a mothership in our... No, shut the f Like, we've had this technology for years. We can go back to... I think it was Reagan in his famous United Nations speech talking about the world coming together, uh, facing a universal threat. Perhaps we need some sure. outside universal threat to make us recognize this common bound. I want them to show it. I occasionally think how quickly our differences worldwide would vanish if we were facing an alien threat from outside this world. They knew back then that that's the the best way, the most powerful way to get everyone to unite into a one world government. If suddenly there was a threat to this world from some other species from another planet outside in the universe, we'd forget all the little local differences that we have between our countries and we would find out once and for all that we really are all human beings here on this earth together. Well. I don't suppose we can wait for some alien race to come down and threaten us, but I think that between us, we can bring about that realization. Hmm. Let me, let me go back and show that man's shirt. Hold on. Look. <laughs> His shirt says hashtag bubbles in space. And then he in front of NASA. This is the biggest troll I've seen in my entire life. But this right. Thank you, Aristotle, for the next couple videos I'm about to show. Wait, Beast Boy, you don't believe the Earth is round? Uh-huh. That's right. The Earth ain't round. It's a big old pancake. <laughs> 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 Your laughter only makes my belief stronger. But if the Earth is a pancake, why does not the water spill off the edges? Yeah, water would spill right off into space. Ha ha ha! Explain that, Mr. Pancake Earth! Two words. Butter wall. Butter wall? Seriously? A butter wall? That's
That's what I said, fool! There's a big old butter wall, and it circles the entire Pancake Earth. This whole Pancake Earth thing is just a fake, like the abominable snowman or global warming. Actually, Robin, global warming is real. Don't make me smack you. Okay, fine. Maybe I was wrong about global warming. Teen Titans is dangerous. <laughs> is it a coincidence that all our founding fathers were Freemasons? Truth in plain sight. I still don't believe all the founding fathers were stone cutters. That's because you trust your stupid school book. Here's what really happened at the signing of the Declaration of Independence. And a nation is born. Now let us party like to a 1799. Homer, a man who called himself you know Ho just invited you to a secret wink-wink at the you know what You certainly are popular now that you're a stone cutter. Oh, yeah. Tonight, we are here to commemorate our glorious society's 1500th anniversary. In honor of this momentous occasion, we're having ribs. Yeah. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. By the way, this video is scripted and for entertainment purposes only. Stay weird. Thanks for watching. Did this cartoon expose the truth? Hey! Oh, what the? Those pork loins are cutting! Ah! Oh. Excuse me! Those fine men are astronauts! They can cut in line! They fought for our country! Well, welcome! We'll be glad to show you around! Now, I hope you're up to spending $2.5 million in taxpayers' money, because we're driving. <laughs> It's the song for me. No, it, it's this part that's blowing me. When she was like, it's what she said. Hold on. Cutting! Look. Uh, excuse me. Those fine men are astronauts. They can cut in line. They fought for our country. How a astronaut fight for the country? That No, that's a real question of mine because I don't understand. If astronauts deal with space, what does that mean fighting for our country? What fight did they put up for the country if they're astronauts? That is a real question. Please. I want answers. We threw a box in the fire five minutes ago and just realized that there was a holy, holy Bible in it. The outside casing burnt. Like burnt all around, real but bad. not one of the pages are burnt not one of them all of them are in perfect condition. the word is living all of them you see like wow. this is burnt and everything thank you Michaela for the video Who's ready to Bohemian Green? wow no, they did not put this in here. And now, please welcome the Six Society. They're a little wet. They're a little wild. It's the Atlanteans. <laughs> they wear sandals and create scandals. <laughs> That's not funny. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> here comes the two <laughs> Wow, this is crazy. Inside job was wild. Thank you, Los, for the video. There is a theory which sustains that the actual salt mines, the pink salt mines we find in the mountains, are the residues of the petrified giants, the petrified meat of the giants of hundreds of thousands of years ago which died during the last collapse and the last reset of the world. Now as crazy as this may sound there are independent archaeologists which study this particular 
theory and have found some very interesting similarities between the pink Himalayan salt in the mountains and the actual dried petrified meat of what they say the giant meat which has died and perished like I said before so many years ago and it is also linked to the, to the giant trees and also to the giant uh, biosphere the planet had back in the past when it was completely removed and the big reset happened of the titans. This is perhaps the most incredible footage that you'll ever see of the sun. The details in this video is that? astonishing. The surface almost looks like it has hair or orange grass blowing in the wind. You can clearly see the enormous sunspots and solar flares like you've never seen them before. These videos almost make you want to reach out and touch the surface of the sun, although no. clearly that would be a really bad idea. They're created by an amateur astronomer named Simon Tang, who goes by the name The Stupid Astronomer, but stupid he is not. He specializes in building imaging equipment and has applied his talents to making backyard telescopes capable of capturing exquisite detail of our sun. You can see his posts all over Instagram, threads, YouTube, and basically any other social platform that you can think of. I'll make sure to link them all in the description. So make sure you go and stop by his page, check out his incredible work, and while you're there, make sure to drop some likes and comments for him and mention that interstellar news sent you y'all believe that someone because it did look like it had hair on it but i don't know i don't know we're gonna see y'all believe simon mr simon we'll see but no you guys sent over some amazing videos it's a lot of like like i said before it's power and repetition and it's a lot of stuff that we're hearing repeatedly like over and over like the new world order the being controlled the hollywood elites uh, like I said, the, the Himalayan salt video that was on here, heard that one. The Simpsons, like it's to the point where it's so repetitive. It's like, how could you not think? That's why we watch these videos because they make us question everything. So I like this. I like that you guys sent these over. Please, if you have any theories, if you have any home videos, anything that pops up on your feed that's going to make us question and, and rethink some stuff, send it our way. How you get your videos on here is you add my Discord. My Discord is in the link in the description. So make sure to click that, add that. And I have a whole thread called Conspiracy Theories. It's under the YouTube section. Add your theories there and I will react to it and shout you out like I've been doing for the past couple of months. I mean, you should have focus. Sorry if you're going in and out of focus. I think it's because I sit too close to my webcam. I'm about to fix this, but yeah, y'all y'all need to hear about that. Y'all, that, that's something for me to fix, not for y'all to fix. But I love you guys. I truly appreciate you guys. I thank you guys for everything. It literally feels great to be back. I know I keep saying that, but I truly mean it. And again, please forgive me if I'm a little rough, if, you know, I'm stuttering or my words may not be flowing how I want them to flow. I'm still trying to get back into my YouTube space. It's been so long. It's been three months. It's been three months. So cut me some slack. But I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. I want to give all esteem, all honor, and all glory to my Lua Yahuwah, my Adoni, Yahusha Mashiach. I'm just a vessel that they're working in and through, so I got to give credit and honor where it's due. I'm never going to stop shouting out my Lua, my Adoni. Because I know a lot of people was like, oh, your channel got taken down or, or was put on probation. Because No, it don't matter. I'm still going to worship. I'm still going to serve. I'm still going to call on the true names. I don't care. So just let that be known. That's it for today's video. Y'all have a blessed one. I'll see you guys in the next one. Shalom, shalom. You can't bring me down. I know who I belong to. Yeah. Why? I won't sell my soul. I know my worth.